Okay, this video is going to go over the new Google Appointment Scheduler feature in Calendar. So the first thing we want to do is open up our calendar. And when we open up our calendar, um, this is eventually going to replace appointment slots. Uh, you have a lot more functionality with the scheduler. And so right now it's a feature that you have to enable, but it will automatically enable at the start of next year so it's a great time to try to start using it now so here's what we're going to do we're going to go into our calendar and we're going to open up the settings from our google calendar and we're going to go into the settings for google calendar and once you get into the settings we need to scroll all the way to the very bottom and you're going to see appointment schedules and it's going to say create appointment schedules instead of appointment slots so this will not change existing appointment slots it won't change booked appointments this is just what you would like to use in the future so we're going to put that so that we have it on well, once you've got it on what you're going to be able to do is you can go in and create as if you're creating an appointment an event in your google calendar and you'll see a new feature for appointment schedule and so when we click on this appointment schedule feature it will bring up what can you do for appointment schedules now i've already created one for tech meetings uh, maybe this is one I wanted to do some after school, after school help. And I want this to be something that students can come to me for after school help. So I can set up how long do I want kids to sign up for after school help with me. You can set up your default uh, time in 15 minute increments for your appointments or customize it. By default, it's 30 minutes. Um, when you are available for appointments, um, it will also make sure that when you are when you already have something booked that will not create an appointment for you um, you can set up what you want to repeat if it's something that you want to go on weekly or whatever it is that you want to do and then here's where you can set up what are the appointments and things that you want to do and so maybe i don't want to have anything happening for monday or tuesday i'm only going to have this set up for wednesdays after or thursdays after school and so i'm going to do this thursday after school and I'm going to say, okay, kids can come in um, after school on Thursday from 3.15 p.m. until 5 p.m. Now, I can add another chunk of time. Say I wanted to come back, and I would also do, I'm going to take a break, but then I'm going to let them come back again from 6 to 7 p.m. So you can add multiple slots or multiple times for your for your event or for what you're looking for. And so... This is going to uh, allow me to set up what I want to what I want to do. If I'm going to have some individual tutoring, I don't want to have two sessions. I'm just going to have that. Maybe I'm going to have it also on Friday. So I'm going to have this on Friday as well. So we'll set this up 315, 315 to 5 p.m. on Fridays as well. OK, so then what I can do is the scheduling window allows you to set up where what do you want to have for your start and end dates of your of your scheduling so like i've got this it's a repeating weekly but obviously i don't want to meet with kids in in august from 3 to 5 p.m because school will be over by then so what i could do is i could put my start time and i can end it when do i want to end it so i would say obviously i would want to end this at the end of school or maybe i just want to run this right up uh until may 20th because that's going to be after that i got to get final grades in so we're just going to run it to then. So then that would create that event of what my scheduling window is. You also have how, how many days in advance do you want kids to be able to book out for you? I'd be doing something with students. I don't know that they need to go two months out. Maybe you want to have them, they can go 14 days out. So they can go up to two weeks to schedule out with you. And this one here is the minimum amount of time before it blocks out those appointments. Good idea to have some sort of a minimum in there. Um, if I if you don't, you could it could be two o'clock and a kid could book a three fifteen for you, and you might not see it or know it or already have something planned and you forgot to put it on your calendar. So I like to leave it twelve hours before. If you if you haven't figured out that you would like to meet with me at least uh, the next day, then we can figure something else out. And so once you get that, um, you can also put in a buffer time. Uh, buffer time will help you. Uh, for example, if maybe you're a traveling teacher and you're trying to get from location to location. Uh, you can add in your buffer time if you're going to do these as Google Conference, uh, Google Meets, and you need a couple of minutes just to get the next Google Meet set up. You can put yourself in a two, three, five, 15 minute buffer, whatever it is that you need. Uh, when we go to the next one, 
This is where it adds in your booking photo, uh, which is your booking photo and name is going to be your Google account name. You can see other videos that we've posted or for how to change your account profile and picture. Um, you can set locations for your event. Uh, perhaps this is all going to be uh, online Google Meets. These are all these meetings are going to take place in your classroom. So this is for after school help. I'm going to set up and say, okay, all of my locations are going to be in room B113 at Southwest Middle, all right? So this is going to be where all of the where all of the uh, all the meetings are going to take place and i can put in a description that's going to come up um get one on one help with mr Agner. right and so that's just gonna be what it is booking form what's uh, good with the booking form is when somebody fills out your to book an appointment with you and this is where it's advantageous over the appointment slots you can put in what is the information that you require or want them to put in there, or is it optional? So we've got here the, their first name, last name, email address is required information. I can add in other things. Uh, maybe I need to have a phone number or I could do a custom item like um, assignment meeting help with. All right. And I can make this a required field and I can add that in there. So now when a student books the appointment slot with me, they have to give me their first name, their last name, their email address, and the assignment that they need help with. So I can help prepare. Or if there's any resources I want to pull out or get anything for them, I can do that. And you can add additional items. You can add as many items as you would like to, to get this stuff. You know, maybe their homeroom teacher or advisory or, or other things like that. Um, you can also set up reminders, not just for you, but also for the person that's going to be getting the event. So um, one day before, you can set up additional reminders. And so when we are done with this, uh, this is going to get everything set up. And I'm going to hit the Save button. And there is going to be my, uh, my appointments. So then what you can do is if you go into your calendar, we can look at, and I'll show you the one that I made for my tech appointments. So in my tech appointments, I've got, I've created a booking calendar for tech meetings. And so if I go in, I can open up this booking page. So here's what it would look like for my tech meetings. Um, they're 30 minute meetings, the dates that you can select, times that you can select. Uh, it's in my current time zone, you get everything that you need. So this is something then that you could share out with your families for conferences or students for after school help or whoever it is you would like, or in my case, I've added it into my email signature. So when I go into my Gmail and I open up my settings in Gmail, and I come in here and I set see all settings, I can go in and adjust my signature. And you'll notice now in my signature, I've got book time with me, which is a link to my booking page. So anybody that would like to meet with me, including you, can set up and book a time and i'd be happy to come out and talk to you about how you can use appointment schedule or anything else google related thank you and have fun googling